All right, let's do our warm ups and just some gentle yoga today. <laughs> Spread your toes, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, everything stacked and supporting you, and shoulders relaxing. Reach that ground to the ceiling, really stretch through your spine, and don't forget to breathe. And inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Clasp the fingers and push them to the floor as you lift your heart, stretch your head back, and pivot over. So come on into that as deeply as your back wants to do today. Move your chin around, start releasing your neck. And then bend your knees slightly, start at the bottom of your spine, work all the way up, and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders and stretch your head back. Take a moment and breathe. Lengthen through the spine. Then inhale upright, release your arms. And spread your toes and feel your spine. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart again. Stretch your spine in the back bend and then pivot over. Let that lower back get a good stretch. Move your chin around. Lift your sitting bones and relax. And then again with the knees bent, chin slightly in. Wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up into your back bend and stretch. Take a moment to breathe, and then inhale upright and release. Take a moment, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and feel the body responding. Side stretches next, so arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Pass them and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears and stretch and lean to the side. Take a moment, pushing your foot down that you're leaning away from for that extra rib opening. And then inhale, upright, shoulders down, and other hand to the front. And again, arms next to your ears, everything straight to the front as you lean to the opposite side. Push the foot down, out through the head and hands, and don't forget to breathe. And again, inhale, coming up, and release. Feel the sides of your body and get ready for our twist. So stretch your spine apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead and clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart and turn to the side. Take a breath, exhale over. Deepen in the twist as much as you'd like. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep your weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And lift your sitting bones. And then inhale your way up in the twist into an upper body only back bend. Remember, don't overwork your low back. So stretch your elbows back and your shoulders down as you lift your heart. Lengthen through the whole body. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, bring your arms next to your ears. Sitting bones down, stretch things apart, and turn to the side. Another breath in, and exhale over. And again, just deepen as much as your body wants, relaxing as you're in that twist. Keep the weight on both feet as you work your way back up in the twist into that upper body only back bend. And again, chest high, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, arms extended, and stretching fingertips to the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe, and then swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, chest bleeding, come halfway down, stretch things out, and then drop into ragdoll. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs, if you love it. 
And then arms back to the center. And one more roll up. And so come back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that spine activated and ready to do some work. And let's do some pelvic tilts. We haven't done that in a while. So turn your feet angled slightly out with the knees going towards your toes and then bend your knees right above your toes. Hands above your knees, no, no support, just positioning. So don't press into your knees and keep your shoulders above your toes. Start with your spine stretching open long and then move into the back bend. Ribs coming forward, chest forward, and shoulders down. Push those sitting bones, hips back, and come into as much of a back bend as feels good for you. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward while you pull the ribs in and look toward the floor and get nicely rounded into that forward bend. So inhale, pelvic tilting, going out and expanding into the back bend. And exhaling, rounding forward into the floor. So your knees and shoulders don't really move, just the rest of you. Letting that whole pelvic area and spine get a good workout. Breathe with it. Lengthen throughout the whole process. Feel the spine moving around. And then the next time you're forward, just pause before you come back up and again into standing. Coming into mountain pose, just lengthen through the spine, everything stacked. Feel that core working to support your low back. And let's go to the wall or a door and stand about a foot or two in front of it and put your hands right in front of your shoulders. And then bring them up one length of your palms, a little bit higher above your head. Take a step back, <clears throat> feet hip width apart, and then push your sitting bones back and bring your hips over your ankles. Sink down through the ribs and stretch your head up toward your hands. So a nice back bend, sinking through the ribs, through the low back and stretching the spine as you're pressing just gently into the wall, moving those sitting bones, hips back, and dropping the ribs. Take a moment, stretching it out. Feel those arms getting a little stretch as well. And then bend your knees, tuck in your chin, take a step forward, and release, coming back again to your mat. And coming into mat and pose once more, just feel again the spine a little bit more worked out. Take a moment and roll the shoulders back and bring your arms up, shoulder level. Palms toward the floor, thumbs inside, just wrap your fingers around, turn one up and one down, pushing out. And rotate the opposite way. So one goes up, one goes down as you push out through your fists. Up through the crown, sitting bones down, everything just rotating. Bring those elbows into the rotation, the whole lower arm along with the hands. And then all the way up to the shoulders. So the whole length of your arm is moving. And then get the shoulders really involved. Go all the way to the middle of your spine with the rotation. So the shoulder comes up and forward as you put those fists down and then goes the opposite direction. Keep pushing out with the fists, up with the head. We're working all the way across that upper body. And then releasing the shoulders, just doing the hands and arms. And then just the lower arms and hands. And then just the fists. And then tighten the fists as you push both hands and fists out. And then we're the National Geographic Special. Oh, let's bring the hands out in front to do that. So keep the shoulders down, hands rotating right in front of your shoulders, fists really tight in front of you. 
those National Geographic buds about to blossom. And the buds are opening with those finger petals just slowly unfurling. Just let them slowly, slowly, slowly creep out. Let the knuckles release, the hands relax, the fingers stretch, everything coming along, and then pull the fingers up toward the ceiling, letting those flower openings push up to the sun and the sky. Spread the fingers, spread out, let it happen, and shake everything out. Take a moment and breathe, hands to your heart. And looking at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling. And thumbs coming behind you, keep looking at them as you raise your heart. Swan dive forward and pivot over. All the way to ragdoll. Coming all the way down, bring your hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, sitting bones and crown stretching apart, everything straight through the spine. And then exhale, bend your knees, come all the way to the floor. So go ahead, hips back to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead to the floor. Take a moment, stretch everything out, and let those shoulders relax. And then inhale, sitting up, and let's come into a cross-legged position. So remember, we're creatures of habit. Go ahead and release those legs going into the opposite stretch so that you're balancing your body. Knees coming down as much as they want. Sitting bones slightly behind you, getting a good base of support. Working the neck, bring the chin into the throat center. So keep your core active with those ribs back and up and the shoulders back and down. Spine nice and straight, except through the neck, which we're stretching. So just go ahead, let the chin come in. And then one in hand at a time to the back of your head. Don't press, just add weight. So no pressure. You just want to add a little weight, letting that chin drop a little easier into that throat center. Take a breath, feel the stretch, let it happen, don't force it. Exhale, relax. And then releasing your hands, tip your chin up all the way toward the ceiling. Keep stretching through the back of your neck as you lift. And remember, stretch through the top of your head as well. Shoulders stay down. And just let that throat get a stretch. Move your chin and jaw around. Make a circle going both ways. And then push your chin forward and pull it back. And then relax and tip your head upright. So everything aligned, shoulders relaxing down, and everything supported on those sitting bones. Tip your ear over to one side, stretching that opposite side of your neck. So remember, both shoulders stay down, the ear comes across only as far as it wants to go, and then you relax. Take a breath. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up, put it on the outside of your head, but again, no pressure. Just a little extra weight, letting that ear come a little further down. Feel the stretch, relax this opposite side, let it allow the stretch. And if you like it and want more, bring your head or fingers to the floor on the opposite side. Take a breath. Just relaxing into it. And then releasing the hand on the floor and the one from your head. Tip your head back upright. Take a moment to do your yoga and feel the difference. And then we'll do the other side. Again, ear coming up close, just relaxing. Breathing, shoulders relaxing. Remember that core is still supporting your spine. Bring your hand up, add the weight, not pressure. 
Feel that stretch on the opposite side a little bit more intensely. And again, you can bring your hand or fingers down on the other side if you want a little extra. Take a moment and breathe. As you exhale, just let it relax. Head coming even further, maybe into the stretch. Exhaling the tightness. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright and feel what's going on through your neck and shoulder. Chin into your throat center and roll it to one side, up to the ceiling, all the way around the back, over to the other side, rolling back down. We go through that circle another time, just slowly feeling what's going on as your neck goes through its range of motion. And then when you get back to the center, pause and go the other way. And again, over to the shoulder, up to the ceiling, all the way across, over to the other side, and back down to the center. And rotate again the same way. Feel the full neck, give you a nice little massage. And again, coming to the center, tip your chin back upright, and reach toward the ceiling. Bring your hands to the sides and switch your legs. And we'll do a little stretch to the side. Hand on the floor, the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, slide, and let the whole side of your body get open. Take a moment to breathe. Sitting bones are moving away from down. Bring that down to the floor. Reach out through your head and hands. You can bend your elbow to the floor intensify that opening through the ribs if you love it. And then inhale back upright. Release that arm. Take a moment, shoulders back and down, and bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment and breathe. Bring the hands up overhead and back by your ears. Clasp your hands and bring the palms toward the ceiling. Bend one elbow, bring it across. Push the palms back straight up, and the other side, over and down, and back up straight. Push the hands to the front, keep the shoulders pushing down. Bring your palms inside, push the backs of your hands out, and release. And switch your legs, and we'll stretch the other side. So again, bring your arm out, palm to the ceiling, over your shoulder, the other hand on the floor, sliding away, straight to the side. And again, <clears throat> push the foot you're leaning, or sitting bone you're leaning away from down, making sure you get a good stretch through the ribs. Stay there or bring the elbow down or just keep sliding your hand out if you love it. And intensify. Take a moment and breathe, stretching through the ribs. And then slide back up, release that arm. Feel the sides a little bit more open and stretch. Bring the arms out, palms up and over your shoulders, stretching. And let's twist to one side. So stretching the spine apart, bring one hand to the front knee and the other one right behind you. Press gently into the floor with that hand, stretch up, lift the hip you're moving away from, and turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder deeper into your twist. Let the whole spine get a little bit more rotation. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling and deepening. And then inhale the arms back up as you turn to the center, and release. And again, let's switch our legs and we'll twist to the other side. Arms out, palms up, hands over your shoulders, but keep the shoulder blades down. Stretch the spine apart and turn to the twist. Hand to your knee and the other one right behind you. Stretch up through the whole spine. Exhale, hip coming slightly up as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder. 
further to the side. Take a breath. Exhale, deepening. Twist as much or as little as your spine would like. And remember, always personal practice. And then again, inhale, arms coming up as you turn to the center and release. And bring the legs out to the front into staff position. And we'll do our diving dolphin for one more twist and spine stretch. So bring your foot up to the opposite thigh, knee out to the side, and bend that front knee coming to the center. Get that knee or that heel near your hip, not under it. Stretch up through the spine and exhale, turn toward that first knee you bend. Hands on your leg or the floor. Ribs in, lounge through the whole spine, tuck your chin, bring your forehead down towards your knee. Exhale, dive under the water. You're the balcony. Inhale, face to the front, coming up to the sun and the sky as you breathe in and do a little back bend on the way up. So again, rounding, exhaling, forward bend, diving under, and inhaling, coming all the way up. And one more rotation through the spine, and as you dive your dolphin under, and leap it to the side of the sky. And then exhaling, turn back to the center, and release your legs. As you come back into staff position, just get situated for the opposite diving dolphin. And again, bring your foot up, knee out to the side on that other leg, and the knee comes forward, the heel back on the second leg. Stretch up, returning, so that hip comes up as you turn toward that first knee again. Hands on the leg of the floor, ribs in, tuck the chin, Dive the forehead down toward your knee as you exhale. And rotate the face forward, inhale your way up, lifting the heart and the lungs to the sun and the sky as you come up. And just rounding, getting that rounded forward bend down, and the slight back bend as you lift the heart, inhaling your way up. And just feel your dolphin diving, enjoying that surf and play. And again, as you come up to the center, exhale, turn back to the front, and release your legs. And again, as you come back into staff position, feel your body, bring your feet to the end of the mat. So notice all of that twist energy through you. Exhale, keep the core active as you roll all the way onto the floor. As you come down onto the floor, just take a moment, relax the shoulders down and the whole spine to the mat. Send your bones toward your heels, relax your back down and draw your heels right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up, so we never roll in at the top of the thigh so that they're not spreading apart. Press your back down, exhale, get that belly contracting slightly. Hands at your sides, we're going to go up just briefly into a little bridge. So lift your hip bones as you inhale. Keep the knees right above your ankles. Come onto your shoulders, not your neck. Clasp your hands under, press the little finger inside and the sides of the hands on the floor. So you can lift up onto your shoulders a little higher. Lift your heart, lift your ribs, lift your hips. Keep the feet on the floor, evenly supporting you with your arms and shoulders and the back of your head on the floor, not your neck. Lift the hips. Keep those knees right above the ankles and don't forget to breathe. And then releasing your hands and your shoulders. Come on back down to the floor and relax the spine to the neck. Take a moment and breathe, shoulders down, spine down, and again, inhale, hips coming up. As you get up, clasp your hands under with the other finger on the outside, pressing it down along with the hands and arms, work up onto your shoulders. 
Chest high, hips high, knees right above your ankles. Don't spread them apart and spread your toes. Lift the hips, lift the ribs, stretch. Make sure your neck isn't compromised. You want to make sure that your head stays on the floor along with your shoulders, but not your neck. Stretch up through the hips. Feel the spine and its back bend. And then releasing your hands and your shoulders, shoulder blades and ribs come all the way back down. Bring your knees up slightly toward your heart and stretch the back of your body. And we'll bring the arms out to T position, knees next to each other, rolling over to the side for a twist. So the hips are at hip level coming down, or the knees are at hip level coming down, and the shoulders are on the floor. Palms up or down with your hands, remember it doesn't matter for this one. And again, the knees come as far toward the floor as your low back twist needs or wants. Your head turns toward the opposite arm. Again, do what's right for your body only, letting that neck twist. And the shoulders stay down for that middle back twist as well. Take a breath or two there, just relaxing into it. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. And just roll straight over to the other side and turn your head the other way. Again, deepen as much as your twist would like on this side. Notice that maybe it's different on each side. That's okay. Just let it happen. Exhale. Make sure you're letting those ligaments release and the spine relax into its twist. Knees going down as far as they want, head turning as much as it will, and just keeping the shoulders down. Take a breath. Let your twist happen. Don't force it. And then again, heels toward your hips and roll onto your back and bring your feet to the floor. Slide the legs up from into corpse position for our relaxation. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, and let your body soften. Draw your toes toward each other and then relax your legs completely. Roll your head side to side, let that neck get a little more release. And don't forget to breathe. As you exhale, just let your body grow even heavier. Sink further into that earth support and let it go. As your body relaxes completely, just allow your mind to release your body from any awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. And allow your body to sink and your mind to float and your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just turn that awareness inward to the peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind, and take a few moments being peace. And if you're relaxing well today, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just to enjoy energy and awareness with the breath. Back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching your body gently, however it feels good for your body today. And when you're ready for that, 
I know you have a given to the situation. Sit and bounce toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and join your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a bit appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it. The yoga work today and the work it does for you every time. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Sit back up and get ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.